Before installing gear, make sure there are no objects attached to your beaded chain that may potentially jam the device. If you do notice that your bead connector is much larger than your chain or that there are any attachments, please refer to our removing attachments tutorial. To begin, you must decide if you want your gear mounted on the inside, outside, or the middle of your window frame. This video will be showing you the inside mount. It is also a good idea at this point to close your shades, ensuring that as they come down, they will not hit the area you plan to install the mounting bracket on. Insert the cog wheel into the positioning tool. Depending on which side of your shades you're installing your gear onto, make sure the thicker edge is always furthest away from you. Attach the positioning tool to the first groove on the mounting bracket. Take your beaded chain and loop it around the cog wheel. Then place the mounting bracket onto the window frame and pull it down with a bit of pressure so that the chain is tight and tensioned well. Make sure there are at least 3 inches of space below the mounting bracket. If the surface material you're installing onto is metal or glass, we recommend using the provided double-sided tape. If the drywall or wood that you are installing onto does not have studs, we recommend using mounting screws with provided double-sided tape. After firmly securing bracket to the frame, remove positioning tool. Loop your plastic or metal beaded chain onto gear making sure the loop is even on both sides. Make sure that your loop is also not twisted. Attach the back cover. Position gear onto the mounting bracket, making sure that the lips are aligned with the grooves. Push gear down onto the bracket. You will hear several audible clicks. Make sure the gear has been firmly installed on both the left and right sides. Make sure the chain is tight. If it is not, push the gear down further on the bracket. Connect the power module to gear. Press and hold the X until the LEDs flash on. Your gear is now ready to be configured.